So, Indian traditional wisdom gives lot of beautiful concepts which are very positive in nature. So, we can say these are the uh, positive psychological construct in the Indian wisdom tradition and most of the time these concepts are presented in very interesting stories. So, this story is about uh, Dharma getting married to the 13 daughters of Daksha Prajapati. Daksha Prajapati is the one who is the uh, who is the one who created this world. Uh, so, that power which that power of the Brahman who which created this world. So, Dharma married to the 13 daughters and these who are the 13 da daughters these are Shraddha, Maitri etcetera. All these daughters are reflection of the positive qualities. So, Shraddha we have already discussed these daughters then further gave birth to son or daughters. So, that is how the whole dharma family comes into existence and this dharma family is the uh, excellent combination of multiple positive constructs defined in the Indian traditional wisdom. Shraddha we discussed in the previous slide, Shraddha gives birth to Shubha. Shubha is the name of the deity who causes wellness and who kills the demons. Maitri, Maitri means worldly meaning is friendliness. Friendliness result into prasad that is propitiation, happiness and satisfaction. Daya, meaning of daya is compassion. The compassion has the son called abhaya. When I have compassion for others, I develop the fearlessness towards the world. Shanti is the another daughter, shanti meaning peace. When peace marries and give birth to a son with dharma, that son is called sukha that is sattvic pleasure that is a positive pleasure. Tushti meaning nurturing and Tushti gives us more sensuous pleasure that is mood and Unnati is another daughter. The Unnati meaning progress and with the progress in the physical world we it, it gives birth to darpa that is arrogance. Buddhi is intellect that is another daughter. Buddhi and dharma result into artha that is uh, material wealth. Medha that is more refined intellect. When more refined intellect marries dharma, it gives birth, gives birth to a daughter called sukriti auspicious activities. Titiksha we already discussed, Titiksha is another uh, wife of dharma. She gives birth to shama that is equanimity, that is the name of his son, Shama. So, uh, and similarly, Ri gives birth to Prashraya uh, or courtesy or politeness. So, we can see that this dharma tree is the combination of many related and positive psychological constructs given in the traditional wisdom. The dharma tree is also commonly used heuristic in the Buddhist literature. In the Buddhism, dharma tree is the tree which reflects many acharyas, many enlightened masters arranged in certain order. Let us look at how these six treasures are relevant for our career, because managing self and managing career both are equally important and both are part of this course. Sham is reflection of emotional intelligence, being aware of the mind fluctuation, controlling of the mind, controlling of the emotion, being aware and managing emotion for self and other and emotional intelligence is found to be as important as IQ for the professional success. Dham is discipline, you remember energy focus matrix until we have dham, we cannot remain focused on the task and we cannot follow the timetable. 
time management requires discipline. Just by managing Google Calendar, we cannot manage time. That discipline can come only with Dhamma. Shraddha. Shraddha is reverence for the tap, Jnana, Yajna, following the norms. There are safety norms. There are other processes in the uh, lean or in Six Sigma, we have to follow certain norms. We need to have reverence for those norms. These norms are for the well-being of the profession, well-being of the organization. That is also Shraddha and that is very important for organizational success and personal career success. Resilience is another name for Titiksha. Resilience at individual level and organizational level, both are important and there is a vast body of literature which talks about resilient organizations and resilience in the executives. Uparati, recognition of the effort, recognizing what I am good at and pursuing that. When I am pursuing that which I am good at, I can celebrate even the small wins. That is important for professional success. If I keep changing my profession from one direction to another, I cannot hope to be successful. So, I need to have operati. I need to find out what is my aptitude, what I am good at, what is my swadharma reflected in profession and that is the foundation for the career success. Then comes Samadhan. After finding out your true calling, after recognizing what is my aptitude, following the Shraddha, following the Dhamma, we develop something, we build something, we are able to achieve something that may or may not be as per our ambition. Accepting that and still remaining on that path, that is Samadhan. So, we can see that all these Shatta Sampatti are equally important in the career success as well and there is a vast existing body of literature which is talking about these qualities. I end this session with three examples. These are examples of epitome of professional success in diverse field and you can see that these people became successful with some or other of the Shatta Sampatti. Actually all these Sampattis are connected and these are uh, reflected in, person, in, in the success, successful personalities. My first example is Ronaldo. We all know that he was born, he was uh, in, uh, in, in a family in the Portugal which was not the family of a very wealthy people. His father was a gardener and his mother was a cleaner and regardless of lack of means, he, con he went to a club and he practiced very hard. Even today, he practices very hard. Studies have pointed out that Ronaldo can jump as much as a meter and his jumping ability is higher than that of ordinary basketball player who play for NBA. Even in the hotel rooms of training camp, others might be resting, but he is following his sit-up practices and he invariably gives 4 hours for his training, 100 push-ups. Um, Regardless of wind and rain, his regimen is, uh, he follows that regimen. We can see that Dham and Titiksha are so very uh, treasures in the Surnaldo's personality. Another example of Narayana, is, another example is G. Narayana ji is also called Guruji. He is a chairman emeritus of Excel Industries Limited, he is a chairman and director of several companies. He is a mentor, contributor educator, trainer in management, he is mentor to several chief executives, lecturers, students, corporates. In his story in the famous book Leading with Wisdom, he mentions about importance of Shama. After a major business loss, he went for self-reflection. He deliberately got into the spiritual sadhana to quieten his mind, to bring calmness in his mind and arising from that calmness was his life goal. He was able to find his swadharma, he able to chalk out his path when he experienced shama after major turmoil, after major business loss and after that he became so famous and became so revered and respectful in the corporate world in India. Third example 
is of Pandit uh, Hari Prasad Chaurasya. He also practices, so he has in the he has this quality of uparati, he has this quality of titiksha, he has this quality of samadhan, ekagrata. And when he says that we need to remain in sadhana, at, at one place he says that most stay for more than 5 years about his students. He also says that practicing is not just about holding an instrument and playing it. It is about constantly thinking about music. What am I going to perform? How to make it more beautiful when I perform next time? How do I perform last time? How can I make it better this time? Constantly thinking about it. So, we can see these three examples how the Shatta Sampatti can be the foundation for Vyavharic success, the career success as well. And these are the ways of attaining well-being, these are the ways of uh, surpassing the obstacles on the path of well-being.